So, uh, and somebody asked me if, they tell, if I tell about the summer months, so that's what I'm trying to do. Because a long time ago, things was different. There wasn't nothing on this earth because there wasn't no earth and there wasn't nothing nowhere except on Saturday when everybody went out to the fish fry and so everybody was out to the fish fry eating uh, fried fish and vile custard and carrying on. So all at once, the Lord tastes some that didn't suit his taste. He said, this your Bible custard ain't seasoned right. It ain't got enough firmament in it. And old Gabriel said, well, excuse me, Lord, but he said, we done used up all the firmament. We ain't got another drop in the jug. Well, the Lord said, he said, I'm going to change that. Looks to me like y'all been using a mighty lot of firmament around here. I bet I'm going to make enough this time to last a month. So the Lord passed the mirror. And he said, let it be some firmament. And when I say let it be some firmament, let it be a whole heap of firmament. <laughs> well, sir. You ought to see the firmament that was there. The, the many angels gathered up all the little cherubs and they she say, well, we got to take these cherubs on home and dry them out. Say, if we don't dry them out, why they shivering like they got the book out right now? Because uh, there was so much fun around. The Lord said, oh, now, sisters, don't do that. He said, don't go busting up the fish fry. I'll take care of that. He said, I'll green off some of this fun. I'll just pass another miracle. So the Lord read back and he said, oh, let it be the earth to hold all this fun. And there was the earth. And all the firmament drained into the rivers and the lakes and the little brooks and the little creeks. Cause you know, a firmament ain't nothing but a fancy name for water. And there was the earth uh, with a lot of light, dry land left over. Well, uh, the Lord look around, see what uh, he going to do about that, the, that land and uh, all them men was mighty busy. He's looking around for somebody to work his land. And Abe, the old Gable say, well, excuse me, Lord. He say, I can't work the land because I got to be practicing on my horn all the time. Uh, so uh, the Lord say, well, I'm going to think about that. In the meantime, he uh, got to do something about drying out them cherubs. So he passed another miracle. And he said, let it be the sun to dry out these chairs. And there was the sun up in the sky. Well, then he went back to a land. And he said, well, it looks like I got to pass another miracle to get my, somebody to work my land, cause you know good as me that the land ain't gonna work itself. So the Lord picked up a handful of dirt and he made it into a ball and he passed a miracle over it and he said, let this dirt be mankind. And there was old Adam. And the Lord said, what's your name, man? And the man said, Adam. And he said, Adam which? He said, just plain Adam. <laughs> he said, uh, is you mad, man? He said, Mad, no, I ain't studying the women. Oh, the Lord said, I'm going to change that. He said, I ain't going to have no single man living on my land. Because I know you can go off of uh, shillelaghing around, and the next morning you'll be too tired to work. <laughs> so he put old Adam to sleep, and uh, he took out a rib, and he made it into a woman named Eve. And when old Adam woke up, there was Eve lying by his side with her head on his pillow. Mm -hmm. And he said, where you come from, gal? And she said, no matter where I come from, I share and die. <laughs> <laughs> well, so old Adam and Eve got married and settled down to raise crops for the Lord. 
And uh, one morning the Lord uh, come walking down the road and there was Sis Eve out with a little bucket of uh, picking blackberries. And uh, he said, good morning, Sis Eve, picking a few blackberries, I see. And she said, yes, Lord, I thought I'd pick a few and make old Adam a blackberry cobbler. And uh, she, he said, well, you just pick all the blackberries you want and the dewberries and the huckleberries and the raspberries and any other berries that's around. Just one thing I don't want you to touch, that's the apple orchard, because apples has been scarce and it's going to bring a good price this fall. <laughs> <laughs> so they just stay out of the apple orchard. Well, uh, she said, thank you, Lord. I said, all right, I'm going to test the apple. The Lord went on down the road. No sooner did he get out of sight that a great big old Highland moccasin come up crawling through the fence. And she said, look at that rascal. She said, I'm going to mash his old head. <laughs> and so he, Sissy he pick up a rock and she twisted it around a couple of times and she flung it at the snake. Well, now, you know how women is. Uh, they good for lots of things, but they ain't much at hitting the target. <laughs> and so uh, she done missed the snake and hit the apple tree and down right at her feet fell a great big old rosy red apple. Ooh, she say, look at that, what I done done. I done do knocked down one of the lowest apples. Mighty pretty. To put it for the hogs to eat. And she pick it up and she take a bite. Mm, don't taste like mud. I wonder do Adam want to eat it. So she went over in the field where Adam was plowing the corn and she said, I brought you something, love. <laughs> and he took it and he smelled it and he spit it. And he spit it out and he said, oh, I don't like apples. Why don't you bring some me something I like? Lord, she blubbers up and commences to cry. She say, of course you don't like it. You never like nothing I do for you. I'm just a poor little old bitty woman and you're the big old weak, big old bad man and you mean to me, that's what you is. Well now, when a woman blubbers up and commences to cry, she gonna get some action out of a man. <laughs> and so she got action all right. Old, old Adam said, oh honey, you hush up your crying. I'll eat the apple right down to the cold. Put them on that. He said, if you'll just hush up, I'll buy you a new dress. <laughs> well, she hush a crying. And Adam at the apple. And he bought Eve a new dress. And the Lord heard about it. And he didn't like it. He wasn't going to have nobody on his place which stole his apple. And so he put them off the place. And the last I hear is old Adam was down on the levee trying to get a job at six bits a day. <laughs>